In this video, I'm going to share with you one of the most underrated passing concepts from the Trips Tight End formation in Madden 22. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And in this video, we'll be talking about a quick snap play that you can add to your arsenal out of the play verticals. What I would really recommend to you if you're going to run this setup is that you have a hot route master or a running back master, backfield master ability so that we can add some additional hot routes. I'm going to give you two different ways to run this play that I really like, both against man and against zone. Primarily, I run this against man because it's real quick snap play. Uh, but I'm going to break this down for you real quickly here. Now, before I do, like I said, just hit that sub button. It's free to subscribe. Also want to let you know that if you want to get my entire uh, Trips Tight End offensive ebook, we've got, I think, over three hours of content on the Trips Tight End alone in our Patreon. My Patreon is my membership for just $10 a month. Not only are you going to unlock the Trips Tight End ebook, you'll also unlock 14 additional offensive and defensive guides instantly that I've released over the course of the Madden 22 season. Any updates that I do. Uh, to those ebooks while your membership is active or any new ebooks that we come out with and typically we post in the patreon probably one to three times a week uh, so multiple new updates every single week for you so if you want to get access to all of that content what's really cool about it is the price it's only ten dollars and literally you get access to everything so let's take a look here at the play verticals from trips tied in and the quick snap or the ability and why this is so good so this corner route is really what makes this a very very good play specifically against man coverage if they man uh if they decide to play man coverage i'm sure going to notice that this corner route is almost always going to get underneath the man coverage and you're going to be able to hit that right in that area now, if you don't have backfield mismatch or backfield master, don't worry. Um, you can still run this concept. We're just going to, instead of, uh, we're going to put the running back on an in route. What you're going to notice is this in route uh, typically will almost always beat the man to man coverage. And what's cool about this in route is you could either put him on an in route to the inside, or if you wanted to, you could put him on an in route to the outside. You can kind of play a little chess with their user and kind of force them to have to respect the underneath. One of the things that I wanted to talk just briefly about real quick conceptually um, that I was listening to uh, some uh, a breakdown today on the Kansas City Chiefs uh, game. And what they said about Tom Brady that was so good versus Patrick Mahomes and one of the nuances and really was more of a difference for stinker, distinction between uh, um, Brady and Rodgers, but it was indicated in Mahomes. What made Mahomes so good towards the later, latter end of the season was his ability to be patient, to take what the defense gave him. It's something that Brady has been masterful at for years, right? He'll just simply take the underneath, take the underneath, take the underneath, and then if you give him the big play, he'll obviously take that. What Rodgers has always struggled with, and in some of the way the defenses have had to kind of be forced to defend some of these great offenses, is they have to kind of just try to keep the lid on. They have to just kind of keep the lid on, try to force them to have to take their check downs. And what will happen is some of these really good quarterbacks will become impatient and they'll throw misreads or they'll uh, have bad uh, progressions or underthrow something or get a tip pass or whatever. And the only reason I'm bringing that up is in Madden 22, that is super, super accurate. In Madden 22, if you just take your check down, the simple plays, you're going to be super, super successful. So I wanted to kind of move to this next route that I want to show you. And this is really the route that kind of is the icing on the cake against man-to-man -man. we're just going to put the running back on a texas route now by putting him on this texas route you're going to notice that he is always going to cook man-to-man -man coverage across the middle so now you have two key routes on this play that are going to beat man-to-man -man. and then the third route that beats man-to-man -man is really good specifically for situations where they're going to put two purples on the field like this and they're going to try to use her the running back so they try to use her the running back they got two purples now you're just going to pass lead that route to the circle receiver up and uh, what you should see is that should be this so let me show this actually from a different perspective let me show this to you from mike blitz three now even if their user goes deep you can still hit this route so even if they have a deep middle third or whatever on their on their coverage what you're going to notice is you're going to just pass lead that over the top of the coverage and of course chris godwin is butchering his route but typically if you have deep out of lead on that player um that's going to be super super successful so let me show you that one more time and again, we'll just to make it a little bit easier. Um, you can throw it right on the cut or late, but again, just pass it that inside. There, you see that's kind of what I'm talking about. Notice how the tight end pulls the purple zones out of the way. 
And this is oftentimes a one-play touchdown if they're not putting uh, a deep half over there on that right side of the field, which in turn means they have to have to put two to three zones um, over on the right side of the field. And then, of course, on the left side of the field, we're going to have a lot open as well. Notice here against cover two man, see how that deep half does play this a little bit better. Uh, but one of the other things I want to show you against cover, uh, cover two man is this route to the triangle receiver. So let's say you get a you know a good solid cover two man, you can actually try to lob this over, and Brady's going to butcher the throw for me. Um, but anyways, you can try to kind of lob that over if you get a look. If you don't, and you are really just primarily concerned about man to man coverage in particularly, one of the things that I would recommend is you could go with an angle route right here. And then what you could simply do on this back side of this is you could run like a zig to Scotty Miller with a, uh, with like a curl or comeback route to Mike Evans if you're only worried about man-to-man. -man. But this also is really becoming a very good read for me against zone, especially zone drops. If they run zone drops on you or cover three, really, this little seam right here to the triangle receiver is something that is really, really good. One of the main reasons why I like this so much is because let's say they're going to send a little... Uh, little cover three blitz at you it's very hard to guard all the things they're going to probably use the running back and what that's going to do is it's going to leave that little seam wide open right over there and that's literally just layup 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 you just take what the defense gives you now another defense that you're going to see a lot of this year um, because people don't really know i mean people don't know any better uh, is this cover four drop what you're going to notice is this corner route See how this corner route is going to get wide open to the tight end. So, again, we're putting them in a position where they're going to have to really, I mean, honestly, if you think about it, like they're going to have to use her the whole middle of the field. But then let's say, for example, um, let's just say, for example, we get a cover two call. And they, uh, on a cover two call here, notice that you've got this little seam read right up the seam. Most people won't run cover two on a uh, trips tight end formation unless they have a very, um, good user in the middle of the field or they have something that is going to like they've already got him in that zone and then what that's going to do is it's going to allow us now to work this backside. we're just going to pass lead that fade to the left and you're going to notice that that can beat the cover two coverage that way so we're able to beat cover three cover four cover two man coverage this is also probably uh, my favorite passing concept um, specifically for a Mabel defense, especially if they're doing zone drops. If they're doing zone drops, this is a really, really good play because their user is going to get held up in the middle from either stopping Godwin, Bernard, or Gronk, and that's going to leave this route right here wide open, and you can trust that route. Just throw it a couple times before you go into a game just to kind of get a feel for it. If they don't set zone drops, um, so let's say they're not setting zone drops, He's, see here, he's going to get this little jam animation, and then that's actually going to help them play that up significantly better on that little seam concept. That's where we what we want to do is be really strategic with our tight end. If they're not running zone drops, pretty much everything else is going to be open. Your corner route to your tight end, your angle route, your uh, little streak to Chris Godwin is oftentimes open. Um, again, they're going to have to have a very special, like specifically a seam flat, curl flat, some kind of zone right there and you'll notice here that when that happens then you've got your angle route coming underneath it and it's pretty much hard to i mean it's almost impossible to stop so um that is the vertical it's just a simple little play here you can quick snap this you can go into a no huddle situation and run this concept and be very effective against anything the defense is going to throw your way so i just wanted to put this out there i want to thank you for watching this video and also want to remind you if you want to get all of my madden 22 products you can join our Patreon for only $10 a month and get instant access to everything. Literally all my ebooks, all my schemes, all my tips, all my breakdowns are in that Patreon. We've got 15 offensive and defensive ebooks available. As soon as you sign up, we've got updates that come out very consistently. Uh, and then we're also going to be adding some more schemes to the, to the Patreon membership as we go through the road here. So I would really encourage you to consider it. It's real cheap. 10 bucks gets you everything. If you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description. So all you got to do is head on down to the description of the video and click the link that I put down there and you can go get signed up for the Patreon.